God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, for He is our God. and strengthen them. O Lord, avenging God, avenging God, appear. Let not your hearts be troubled, Believe in God, believe also in me. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning? Oppressed by the foe, who oh, send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart. O oh God, my God, why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? O oh, in God, I will praise and still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May He send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send His truth and His love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue are a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise, 
Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens, and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you. Taking from your body your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. The angel carried me away to a high mountain and showed me the holy city. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king city, God in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there. Like the pangs of her, by these when you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your law. Within your temple, your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices, and the people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all round it, Count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles. 
that you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The angel carried me away to a high mountain and showed me the holy city. Magiste, she must quia ver access, et viam de in veritate doces. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people a knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Magiste, she must quia ver access, et viam de in veritate doces. Alleluia. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who are rich in mercy, and who willed that St. John Paul II should preside as Pope over your universal Church, grant, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may open our hearts to the saving grace of Christ, the sole Redeemer of mankind, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Oh, John. Shining star of the church, to reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the Word, eternal fruit of His bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O oh, beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon His heart, drawing the secrets of Father's beloved Son and the Savior of all. O oh, beloved Son of Mary who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart. We beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the art of the wounded heart of the Apostles, under the life and guidance of the Spirit of Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.